glabrous. Is that a word you've ever used before? If it is, it's probably because you're botanically minded. Glabrous, and I do love the fact that botanists use spectacularly complicated words when a very simple one would of course suffice. So glabrous means smooth and hairless. So this tree is described as glabrous because it has very smooth leaves. So I'm standing here on the edge of the Indian Ocean in the beautiful island of Lamu in northern Kenya and I'm looking at this extraordinary plant. This is the Madagascan rubber vine, Cryptostegia madagascariensis. It's uh, been naturalized all over the world because it's actually quite a beautiful uh, ornamental plant. But here, I think on the edge of the Indian Ocean, probably it's here because these seeds have traveled by water and naturally found their way onto the coast. We're on the Indian Ocean, not that far from Madagascar uh, in seed dispersal uh, terms maybe a thousand kilometers or so and this plant here has found its way here and as I will show you now is called the Madagascan rubber vine or the purple rubber vine because and I'll show you a close-up of this of this milky latex that you find inside the leaves that is traditionally used to make rubber both in Madagascar and in India in fact quite a bit it's also a uh, toxin, not very nice on your skin, and it's quite often used by people as a uh, toxin for suicide. Although I have to say, not often very successfully. What tends to happen when you take this to try to kill yourself is that you then wake up several hours later with a pounding headache and a really nasty bitter taste in your mouth because this latex doesn't taste good, but it isn't really toxic enough to kill you. It is, however, toxic enough to seriously irritate your skin if you handle it, so best to leave it alone. Very, very, very remarkable fruit. This fruit here is uh, still green. This one is dry and has opened up and the seeds have already dispersed. So inside here, we've got um, a kind of fluffy white dandelion type material that helps them disperse as a dispersal agent. The reason that this plant is uh, so often cultivated domestically is because of its beautiful purple flower. Here closed, I don't have an open one immediately handy to show you, uh, but it's very characteristic and it's a very beautiful flower. So what is the opposite of glabrous? I think it's important that we close with that. Glabrous, of course, is smooth and shiny. Oh, there's a little bit of sap. And the opposite, slightly hairy, is puberulent. So if you're suffering from puberulence, I know I've had teenage kids who've got there a little bit. I, was, I too was once puberulent before becoming fully hirsute. So that is the uh, botanical term. This is the Madagascan rubber vine. I'm Gus, the African plant hunter. If we've not met before, uh, that's what I do. I like to share little vignettes with people about useful African plants. I'm here sweating dully in Lamu, northeastern Kenya. And it's been great having you guys along and I hope to catch you again later. Take it easy, bye.